Hi there! Did you know that there is a trap door on this screen? I'll show it to you in a minute. The trap door helps us with the drop the E spelling rule. I'll show you how it works. First, we need to learn about suffixes. Suffixes are groups of letters added to the end of a word that change the word's meaning. Here are some examples of suffixes. Ing, ed, full, and less. Some suffixes start with a vowel. They are called vowel suffixes because they start with a vowel. I'll show you two suffixes. Which one is a vowel suffix? Yes, ing starts with a vowel, so it is a vowel suffix. Some suffixes start with a consonant. They are called consonant suffixes because they start with a consonant. Which one is a consonant suffix? That's right. Less starts with a consonant, so it is a consonant suffix. Let me give you a quiz, and then I'm going to show you a castle that has a real trapdoor. All right, look at these two suffixes. Which one is a vowel suffix? If you said ed or ed, you are right. Ed starts with a vowel, so it is a vowel suffix. Look at these two suffixes. Which one is a vowel suffix? If you said est or est, you are right. Est starts with a vowel, so it is a vowel suffix. Let me quiz you on one more. Look at these two suffixes. Which one is a consonant suffix? If you said ful or full, you are right. Full starts with a consonant, so it is a consonant suffix. Okay, look at this castle. This is Windsor Castle in England. Under a rug, there is a latch that opens a door. The door leads to stone steps and a secret escape passageway. That's pretty neat. Now, I'll show why we need the trap door with the drop the silent E rule. This is the rule. If a word ends in a silent E, drop the E before adding a vowel suffix. Look at this word hope. And the suffix full. Full starts with a consonant, so it's a consonant suffix. When a word ends with a silent E, like the word hope, you can add a consonant suffix to it without changing anything. Look how we add full to hope. But if we want to add a vowel suffix to hope, we have to drop the E first. ing or ing is a vowel suffix. Watch what happens when we add the vowel suffix to the word hope. Oh look, the trap door opened and the E fell off the word. That is because you drop the silent E before adding a vowel suffix. It can help to think of not wanting two vowels in a row touching each other. Once the E is dropped, you can put the word and suffix together. Hoping. That was pretty cool. Let's take a look at another word. Care. And the suffix, less. Less starts with a consonant, so it's a consonant suffix. We can just put the word and suffix together to create careless. But if we want to add a vowel suffix to care, we have to drop the E first. E and D together is a vowel suffix. Watch what happens when we add the vowel suffix to the word care. Oh look, the trapdoor opened again and the E fell off the word. That is because you drop the silent E before adding a vowel suffix. It can help to think of not wanting two vowels in a row touching each other. Once the E is dropped, you can put the word and suffix together. Cared. Are you ready for a quiz? I'll ask you a few questions and then I'll show you a photo of a real trap door. Is ing or ing a vowel suffix or a consonant suffix? If you said vowel suffix, you are correct because ing starts with a vowel. Now, if I want to add ing to one of these words, which word will first need to drop the silent e? Look or hike? That's right. It's hike. Look doesn't end with a silent E, so you just add the vowel suffix. 
Here's another question. If I have the word nice, which one of these suffixes will make the silent E drop when I add it to the word nice? If you said ER or ER, you're right. ER is a vowel suffix because it starts with a vowel. Remember, silent E doesn't want to be next to another vowel, so it drops out when a vowel suffix is added. Watch. Now see how we don't drop the E when we add a consonant suffix. Okay, one more, and then I will show you a real trap door. If I have the word use, which one of these suffixes will make the silent E drop when I add it to the word use? If you said ing or ing, you're right. Ing is a vowel suffix because it starts with a vowel. Remember, silent E doesn't want to be next to another vowel, so it drops out when a vowel suffix is added. Watch. Now see how we don't drop the E when we add a consonant suffix. Now that you did the quiz, I will show you a real trapdoor. Don't you wonder where this goes? Maybe to a room. What would be in it? Maybe to a passageway that leads deep into a forest. Let's watch the trapdoor do some more work. This is going to be a speed session. We are going to add the vowel suffix ing to a bunch of words. Two words are going to come on the screen at a time. You hurry and say the word that would need to have the silent e dropped before adding the suffix. Try to say the word before the silent e drops through the trap door. Wow, that was fun. And thinking of a trapdoor gave me a lot of story ideas. So, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to write a story. Once upon a time, in a castle that stood tall on a mountainside, there was a lonely but lovely princess who was walking through the large dining room when, all of a sudden, with almost 1,000 titles, our free, searchable book list lets you trust the books your children read. Discover clean, uplifting books today at goodandbeautifulbooklist.com.